Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest VIII. In the last episode, I went around and did the remainder of the item collecting that I wanted to do. Now we're going to be heading to a brand new location that can only be accessed with the God Bird. So I need the world map for this one. Yep, should be over this direction. Tomorrow Moral makes a move to make a more monster friends. Tomorrow Moral makes a move to make a more what? <laughs> Crazy dude. <laughs> An oasis full of women, huh? We got Jessica and we got Red, man. It's all the women you need right there, man. something here I guarantee it uh, yeah we want to go towards the uh, bridge over here do we have any new things challenges yeah I still gotta do the fucking uh, metal kink slime on huh Yeah, I'll do that one when I remember. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. For some reason, I keep forgetting to do that. I probably should just do it off screen. Wait a minute. I don't need to. Outstanding. But yeah, we want to go across this bridge. Whatever, man. Let's fight these guys. I think these guys are new. And we got a buffalo ogre and a cyclops. that guy some other time. Right now, priority is to get the treasure. There's actually a mini metal all the way at the end of this path. 
Nice scenery around here though, huh? Got waterfalls. It's lush and green. Palm trees. Metal King slimes. <laughs> oh yeah. <clears throat> Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Ant lightning thrust. Uh, just attack. Uh, yeah, use accelerate. And use accelerate. Yeah, I don't have Yangus ball actually. Nah, I'm not even gonna bother putting Yangus in here. I could. <coughs> but. I'm not gonna bother. If you don't kill him, you don't kill him. If he dies, he dies. And he didn't die. Yeah, might as well go with Blade Cat. Oh, yeah, I gotta. Oh, okay, yeah, I gotta make sure I got the right weapon for it, right? <clears throat> this probably won't get him. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, seven. Or maybe that was six, I don't know. But yeah, that's not even enough to kill them. They got like. They got like fucking. Uh. Like 16 or more HP. You're only guaranteed 6 hits with Blade Cascade. The 7 and 8 hits are random. So you gotta get lucky to get those. Alright, so what's next? Boomerangs? Alright, whatever. I'll, I'll save them. <laughs> I don't even know. I probably will put them in boomerangs, but... I don't need to right now. Alright, so what am I gonna put? Nah, just save him. Same with Yangus, I'm probably just gonna save his. No need to distribute him. fought these guys, right? High rollers? Yeah. Thin air. Oh well, they're fucking dead. Regardless. guys just look really cool to me. I don't know why I like, the way, I just like their designs. Just look really fucking funny. And cool. I mean, I like them. Uh, yeah, let's go with Thin Air, man. That's usually a pretty safe skill to use. Guy, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah, you knew we wasn't gonna survive very long. One lousy hit. Dead. Yeah, as you can see, this is a pretty long path. It'll be worth it, though. It's always worth it to get many models. No, I think I'm going to recruit this guy, though. Maybe he'll replace the uh, the other Gigantus that I got. Big Blue Bully. To stun a move. Well then. He's going to be screwed, isn't he? <laughs> Pwned! Silver monster coin. Oh, actually, I don't even think this guy is as strong as uh, the guy you can recruit at Princess Minnie's Castle, but I'm sure that this guy uh, is probably in a particular monster team. Like, if you pair this guy up with the other guy, it probably... You know, it gives you like a special monster team. I'm gonna show all that shit. Just because I want to see how good they are, too. I mean, just f to satisfy my own curiosity. Some pretty cool enemies around here, man. Damn, man, this place is borderline crawling with Metal King slimes. That's funny, man, because in the <clears throat> in the PlayStation 2 version, I don't think I ever I don't think I ever remember running into uh, Metal King slimes in this in this region. Whatever, man. This guy's probably pretty tough. I should go kick his ass. You know, might as well, man. I got a timbrel of tension now. It'll be easy. It'll be a cinch. The arch arch demon. Actually, uh, let's just attack right away. Let's just attack right away. Oh. If he somehow lives, we always got Blade Cascade for the next round. You somehow live. Kind of had the feeling you would. Still alive. Just barely. 
<laughs> nice. Oh, this guy's a gold monster. Wow, man, this guy looks kind of strong. Hell yeah, we'll recruit him. Monster here. Come here, <laughs> you human are you? This is Try and Gully. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I think a monster just spoke to me. Go blood! No. Oh come on. I say that we're saying that outline now. That that whatever, man. That's core blimey number thirteen, I think. Uh, you there? Uh, you're a monster, uh, but you don't fight or run away. What business do you have being so welcoming? Explain yourself. Here in Try and Gully, humans and elves and me. Monsters all live happily together. <laughs> so, why would I run away when I see a human? <laughs> I. I. Well, I never. I had no idea such a place existed. Of course, you know what this means. I can wander about without causing a stir. It's a veritable paradise. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, follow me. <laughs> All right, man. Trode is fired up. And yeah, for this town, Trode leads. That's right. He's the lead character here, huh? How great is that? No, it's not gonna. This place seems a hell of a lot better than Pickham. You don't need to be drudging up those bad memories. If we open up a bar of Lombrusca and make Sarabosiani, eh? Yeah, maybe we will. Pheromones in the air. Dude, how do you know, man? Yeah, he is leading the way, man. Where's Medea? I mean... She'll be here too, right? Eleven's is on Wednesday. kind of pictures do we need to take? Yeah, we show up here, we got new ones. Ravine Relief. There's a little known rumor about a place deep in the forest where humans are. So there, apparently there's a huge rock carving on the cliff above this extraordinary settlement. 
And then we have Quirky Church. Okay, and then we have Peculiar Priest. Okay, Elusive Elves. So you gotta take a picture of the elf, and then there's a Triangully Golden Slime. Okay. Alright, so let's take a picture. Here we go. You can buy some really good stuff in this town. And you can alchemize some of the best stuff in the game, really. So you some good shields. Uh, be able to get Angelo's best bow. Yeah, it's just fantastic. Yeah, monsters are cool. Monsters are definitely cool. And we gotta take a picture of this guy too. <laughs> Confess thy deeds before the great imp. <laughs> Kid from here? Really? So, yeah, this is David's hometown, apparently. He's from here. But I guess they never told him that he was heir to a great sage, huh? That's kind of important information, isn't it? Alright, another mini metal. Hello. Take a look at the picture of the back of the room. Do we gotta take picture of the picture your name is Drang huh yeah it's not bad good picture well, I guess we don't have to take a picture of that but we do have to take a picture of this girl here Yeah, I'm gonna talk to her in a little bit. I'm just trying to go around and get all the pictures that I need. Another 
Come on, that's not good enough. What the fuck, dude? It's in the shot. Why are these golden slimes so fucking difficult sometimes? I mean, how do they expect you to take a picture of that? Come on, you fucking piece of shit. That's not good enough. What about now? God, man. Gotta be like right up in it before it even registers. <laughs> sure. You're joking. Whatever. I wanted to see that. I wanted to see Trode get a kiss. I mean, he's kind of a frog. Maybe a kiss will turn him back into a king again. But yeah, an elephant elixir. That's pretty good, huh? And a huge rock. So Rapthorn is sealed away in a huge rock somewhere in the world. Very interesting. There's a rock somewhere that houses... I thought his soul was in the scepter then. How the hell is he in a rock if he was also in a scepter? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Dry... G I don't know how you say that. Gigant Gigantini? Sure. That's probably how you say it. Or maybe not. I don't know. Alright, man. This is a dry Gigantini. Gigantini, Agitated, whatever. not distressed. Why don't you give it a try, sir? <laughs> you read me like a book, my good man. This is just what I was looking for. Oh, goodness. Well, well, well. I am impressed. This is delicious. Thank you, sir. You flatter me. Perhaps while you enjoy your drink, I could entertain you with a tale of triangle As you wish, my good man. This drink is more than enough entertainment for me. <laughs> you are too kind, but please, allow me to begin. <clears throat> it all started long ago, many hundreds of years past. The great sage Kupas was out walking one day when he found an elf and a gigant lying injured in the road. Hating to see any creature suffer, he tended to their wounds and he saved their lives. Amazed that a human should show them such kindness, they pledged their allegiance to Kupas. And from that day forth, the three of them were inseparable. But the lifespan of humans, elves, and monsters is very different. After many years, Kupas passed on into the great beyond. Determined to honor his dying wish, the elf and the gigant established a settlement here in the gully. And ever since then, humans, elves, and monsters have lived here side by side in peace, never forgetting Kupas's wish. Except for the monsters on the outside of this area. <laughs> that no one should ever be allowed to forget how Rapthorn had terrorized the world. So, that's why the inhabitants of this valley are always sure to tell travelers about the terror of the Lord of Darkness. Well, well, that's quite a tale. Very interesting, I'm sure. But this drink is absolutely fascinating. Hmm. Well, that was delicious. It was worth venturing this far into the forest just for that alone. Thank you for your custom, sir. I wish you a pleasant journey. 
Okay. Thank you for the story, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah, gold bank. Recipe books. Rousing sword. Oh, yeah, Metal King sword recipe. But yeah, in case you didn't know the recipe, that's how you get it. Highly strung cheese. Yeah, that is kind of hard to make. Well, actually, it's pretty easy to make. The hardest thing to get is the rock salt. Okay, you can rest to item shop. Here we go. At this item shop, I want to buy a dark steel bell. Now, I'm going to need to use this on the outside to take a picture of the saber cat. And yeah, let's, yeah, we can get a flowing dress. I think I only need one at the moment. But yeah, I'm going to need this to make an angel robe, I think. I don't know, I don't remember the recipe off the top of my head, but this is something I definitely need to make. Oh, I need a magical skirt. Do they sell a magical skirt here? Eh, whatever. Um, band scratch skirt and a magical head, a magical mace to make a magical skirt. Okay. I guess, uh, no, let's see if they got one. Maybe they do, I don't remember. Alright, here we go. Here's some good, yeah, if you didn't get dragon's beans and or kooks, you can get them here, but... Yeah, I already got him. Blizzard Blade, this is a very good weapon. One of the best swords in the game. Uh, an enchanted ice sword whose blade contains the power of a mighty snowstorm. You can use this as an item in battle to, like, cast, uh, like, crackle or some shit. And it also has, like, a crack element yeah, as far as the attack. Um, can you, No, I don't organize my inventory. Whatever, I'll just put it in the bag for now. But yeah, I'm giving that to red. Alright, we get a great bow. Which I'm going to throw in the alchemy pot. As soon as I get done here. Heavy hatchet. Uh, I think, yeah, I think this has a chance to instant kill targets. Staff of resurrection. Yeah, when the, you use this as an item in battle, it casts the zing spell. 45,000 gold for this. It is unlimited use, but fuck, at this point, you don't need it. You really don't need it. Oh, here we go, the Cobra Claw. This is new. What this does... Yeah, what the Cobra Claw does is it does 50% more damage to demon-type enemies. Let's do some alchemy. Yeah, it's a better weapon for Mori, but you can make it even better. So we want to put the Cobra Claw in the Alchemy Pot with the Hades Helm. Remember uh, finding if you, you might remember finding this in the Pirate Cove, and I said you can mix the Saint's Ashes with you with this, and I told you not to do it. This is why, because when you throw these two things in the Alchemy Pot. You can make an amazing weapon against demon type enemies. Double damage, the King Cobra Claw. This weapon will deal double damage against demon type enemies. So 
So it's Mori's, it's one of Mori's best weapons. He's got a bunch, actually. He's got four really good claws that I'm going to have on him for uh, the post game. Alright, so we got a great bow, what is it? Here, somewhere. Great bow, yeah, great bow. Uh, arrows, oh wait, I just remembered. I can't do it. Got to unequip Angelo. Just remove it. Now we can do it. Yep, great bow. Eros bow and Charon's bow are all going in the alchemy pot. can make the best bow in the game, the Odin's bow. As the highest attack power, it's definitely Angelo's strongest weapon, in my honest opinion. The only thing comparable, I guess, would be the, uh, I guess the Demon's Bane, which is new to the, uh, exclusive, I should say, to the 3DS version of the game. It used to be the best sword, I, I guess, you know, I, I said earlier on, like, I think it was a few videos ago, that the Shamshir of Light is Angelo's best weapon. Or best sword. Um, the Demon's Bane is now the best sword for him. Uh, it does more damage to demon type enemies. But as far as raw attack power. This is still the strongest weapon in the game. But Odin's bow is just amazing. So your multi shots will be doing amazing damage. Alright is there anything I'm forgetting here? Yeah, I think the only weapons I care about is the Blizzard Blade, the Great Bow, and the Cobra Claw. Rainbow Fan, eh. You might, you could use that to make a better fan, but we're going to be finding and getting other fans that are better anyways later. I wouldn't worry about fans right now. But yeah, you can get King Axe here, but you don't need to because Conqueror's Axe exists, so there you go. All right, now we're getting to the armor. And again, you can make some really good stuff. And you can just buy Genghis's best armor in the game. Yeah, if you didn't make the Gigant armor at Argonia when it was available, uh, you can just buy the Gigant armor here, which again, is Genghis's best armor in the game. It is the best armor in the game for Genghis, period. Uh, you can get mirror armor here, mirror shields. I want to get a couple of these, and you can buy uh, thinking caps here. I made a couple. You can make this with iron headgear and oh, what was it? Iron headgear and a scholar's cap. That's what it was. Which might be a little bit cheaper actually than just buying them outright. But yeah, I want to get a couple mirror shields here. Because they are going to be crucial for making something that's really good. I think we might, yeah, we already have a recipe for it. Wait a minute. I don't have any white shields. What are they still equipped? They are still equipped. That could be a problem. Uh, yep. Remove. Actually, let's throw them in the bag too. That way I can make two at once. Yep, don't need those shields anymore. We're about to make something infinitely better. The second best shield for uh, Jessica and Red. The only shield that is better is the Goddess Shield. And on the plus side for the Goddess Shield, uh, Angelo can also equip that shield once we get him. But yeah, sadly he cannot equip the Santa Shield. But that's okay. Second best shield in the game for females. Yeah, you 
you are just way too busy with your stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Fuck. I don't want to take any of this stuff out. Especially the, the, the address will do is, you know, if I need to use these at the beginning of a fight. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, so Holy Shield that reduces the damage from fire and ice-based attacks by a third. So yeah, it pretty much, it lowers pretty much everything exa except for zap spells by a third. Uh, the Goddess Shield, actually, not. Nah, hold on, man. Let me, let me actually look up what the exact effects are because, again, this fucking game is terrible. With the descriptions, man. I shouldn't even be looking at the descriptions, to be honest. Okay, I just looked it up. The Saintus Shield only reduces flame and ice breath damage by a third. Only flame and ice breath damage. No spell reduction. Uh, the Goddess Shield actually does, like, spell reduction and breath damage by half. I'm sure I'll say that again later, just to reiterate it, but... Yeah, that's still a very good shield. It'll be good until the post-game, and then obviously I'm going to want to get goddess shields for the, uh, for the girls. And we got some kind of treasure room. Need Rhea's permission, huh? All right. Let's go talk to her. But yeah, with that flowing dress, that will, uh, once I get done making a, uh, an angel robe, I should be able to, uh, alchemize a princess robe for Dodgy Dave. Pretty soon here. Yeah, the princess robe you gotta make for Dodgy Dave to get the uh, body blazer. I think is the last thing you can uh, you can trade with Dodgy Dave. I think after that he just asks for or he just asks for the same stuff and then he gives you gold. Yeah, you guys never told him. Why didn't you tell him? Yup. We ran into him. He was being treated like shit. Gotta lift this curse, man. No doubt it is the guidance of Kupas that has brought you here. The only way to stop the revival of the Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn, is to seal away the scepter that contains him once more. Please let us do what little we can to assist you. Drang? Would you come here? Oh, right away! I want these people to have Kupas's great treasure. Would you go and let the guard know? Oh, right away! <laughs> As you just heard, I wish to give you something from our Gali's treasure chamber. It's called the Dark Tree Leaf, and it belonged to Kupas. It's the leaf from a giant tree that exists in the world of darkness. 
People say that if you place it on a map, it will instantly show you the location of a great evil. Oh, well, that's handy. The fate of the world is in your hands. We're all depending on you. We will await news of your success here in the gully. No, she she's just gonna give us some. But yeah, man, elves. Not something you see every day, huh? She was the one giving off all the pheromones, huh? <laughs> He's infatuated with the elf. Well, I suppose that's not really that weird. I mean, it's, it's alright in Lord of the Rings, right? When they do that kind of shit in Middle Earth. Although it is, I guess it is kind of taboo in that world. Yeah, man. That poor kid who just loved his master. And the only reason he did was because he was under some kind of spell. Anyway. Let's go get that treasure. Kind of looks like you, yeah, I mean, it's basically you dress a leaf from the dark world. I got a staff of anti magic. Could have made that a long time ago. Back in Pick'em. Yeah, if you want to make a staff of anti magic, it's a wizard staff and a rune staff in the alchemy pot. Alright, more mini metals. And dress do. More mold. Hello. Okay, once we get the dark tree leaf, I think we can actually do the um, Dia scene at this point. Oh, daytime. Oh yeah, before I forget, I should probably go outside and do one last thing with that bell that I bought from the item shop. Yeah, you just gotta take a picture of a black saber cat and a purple mane. Thank you. 
making you feel thick. Whatever. Yeah, Yangus isn't the brightest guy, that's for sure. Yes, for David, we must make the dog dead meat. Let's go inside with our own ends. Gotta lift that curse, man. Yeah, I mean, we could defeat the dog, but yeah, we gotta get the scepter under control. That's the only we gotta do something about the scepter, really. I mean, Leopold is just kind of, you know, caught up in it. Yeah. Should have never picked up that frickin' scepter, but you know what? He's a dog. He didn't know any better. But then again, Jessica didn't know any better either. Uh, let's see. We want to use the Dark Steel Bell. Yep. Now we want to take a picture. Ta-da! That's all we need this for. Yeah, it's time to turn in some stamps, man. Do this and then end the video, I think. Then I'll be showing off how to make a princess robe in the next video. Five stamps. Should be enough to get the next reward. All right, man. We get the Kanichi costume. Fuck yeah! This is one of Red's best armors. Say that every time. But yeah, we're gonna be giving this to Red. What this does is it raises her agility by 20, raises her evasion chance by 25%, and it's decent defense, definitely better than Dancer's Mail. And uh, if you equip the uh, Kunichi headband with it, then it changes her appearance. Don't remember if I have one in here. look like it. Can I make one real quick? We'll find out. Need iron headgear. Well, that's easy enough to get. I can just go back to or uh, Cook's. But 
but I'm probably not gonna even. I'm not even gonna bother with it. So, I mean, yeah, you get a little bit more agility, but. I'd rather have status protection. And I get more of the meteorite bracer. Not even as good. Defense is a golden tiara. Well, yeah, let's see what she looks like. Pretty cool costume, actually. I do think I prefer her default one, but pretty cool. Yeah, I'll put the golden tiara back on her. Yeah, it's only like 15 agility. But yeah, now she has 142 agility, so she has far and away more agility than the other character. It should be pretty fucking close to guaranteed that she'll go first at the beginning of a round. Okay. Oh yeah, you know what? One last thing before I end it. One last thing. Get out of my way, sir. Jeez. No, I couldn't get past that guy. <laughs> yeah, as long as I'm here. Let's make it nighttime. since I last saw father enjoy himself like that. You didn't see it. You weren't even in the town with us. He's been so lonely, waiting in the wagon all by himself while you and the others head into town. It's this place, I'm sure of it. He feels happier here because humans and monsters live together in peace. I know we've met some friendly monsters on our travels, but they are so few and far between that people mistrust them. I suppose that's why the few who aren't hostile to humans have to live here. In secret. Wouldn't it be wonderful if they didn't have to hide? If all the world were as peaceful as this? What a marvelous place it would be! Yeah, it'd be like Dragon Quest Heroes before shit hits the fan. Anyway. Get out of my way, I got dogs and people in my way. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, Arcadia. Yeah, it's about that time for me to check. Gonna be going to the Mystery Mart again. Get another uh, seat of skill. And I think I'm gonna be feeding this one to Jessica. I wish she can get the Kazing spell. Because I think she only needs like five more points. Nice bling, man. 30,000 for this one. Wow. It's good 
thing I got plenty of cash. as well just round out the video by going to the mystical spring yeah I got learned the Kazing spell with Jessica so now I got Kazing with Jessica Mori and I got dance of life with red and I got the zing spell with the hero so everybody's got some kind of revival spell um, We got everything we need for the post game, man. Almost. Getting there, anyways. I've started drinking from the spring. I've been able to talk to you in your dreams. Yeah, what about it? Well, I remember you telling me that you had a bad dream the other day. You said you were lost in a cave full of giant dragons. You couldn't find a way out, and you were about to be crushed under their feet. Yeah, I get weird dreams like that. Whenever you have a nightmare, just call for me. I'll come to you. That way, at least, we can be afraid together. Oh boy. Anyway, that is all for this episode of Dragon Quest VIII. We're going to be hunting down Sir Leopold in the next episode. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.